Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial and today it's on the minigame Potatoes. So the idea of this minigame is there is a certain number of players and one of them has the explosive potato. And then you have to run away from that guy or you will lose if he touches you. So let's go ahead and start by creating a new arena. So if you forward slash potatoes, that will show you all the commands. Here they are. So first of all, let's go ahead and create one called test. And then we got to go to the lobby. And in here we are going to set the main lobby and we are going to set the lobby for the specific arena we just created. So set lobby test. Once you've done that, fly back into the arena and now we can set the min and max players. So the minimum is going to be two. There we go. And the maximum is going to be four. So set max to four. And once you've done that, you can set all the spawns. Uh, in your arena in different places so spawn test and we're going to set spawn one here um, why is that wrong spawn set one set two three is going to be here and four I'll just stick over here there we go so we have set all four spawns and now we can set a couple more things so we need to set the bonus so bonus for the arena test is going to be 20 and finally we can just set the deathmatch so I'm going to just set it in here for simplicity deathmatch of the arena test so there we go we have set everything that we need to let's go back into the lobby and set uh, the arena sign so potatoes on the first line and the arena name on the second line so test there we go so it says potatoes test 0 4 and waiting so if you right click that we will join the game and as you can see there is a nice scoreboard on the right and it has gone to one. You can also leave the game if you want to. So I'm going to get my other account on and we're going to show you how this game works. So guys we're in the game now and as you can see I'm the explosive potato. I only have 12 seconds left now to pass it on to my other account. If I do that successfully um, I will get away and as you can see there are nice particle effects going every second and I have 20 seconds to get away from him to make sure he doesn't hit me with it and if he does I will have to pass it back to him so we are going to wait the 20 seconds he's just gonna stand there and lose um, so when the time runs out he will lose the game as he still has it on him and if you had I don't know 10 12 people in the game it would be so fun everyone just running around it would be chaos so I have won the game pretty easily as he didn't move and we will be teleported back to the lobby. There we go. And you could just rejoin again if you wanted to. So that is the plugin. It's really cool. Uh, works fantastically and is easy to set up. So we are going to have a quick look in the config file now. There is a few things you can actually edit in there. So here we are in the potatoes folder. And if we go into the config file .yml, we can have a look at all the cool things that we can edit. So at the top we can enable the message of the day, which is a really cool feature. There are three different ones, so um, there's waiting, starting and in progress, so it will indicate what uh, the games are doing. And you can see, uh, you can edit the colours and the format and the words if you really wanted to. And if we scroll down a bit more, you can edit all of the times, which is a cool feature. That was originally 30 seconds, which I changed to 10 because 30 is too long. You can enable whether you want people to be able to push each other, so that's kind of cool. And you can enable the deathmatch feature, so that's zero at the moment, but uh, you could enable that, which is pretty cool. And if we scroll down a bit more, you can enable potion effects. So you may have seen in the top right hand corner, we had speed and jump. So you could add, if you wanted to, blindness. I'm not sure that would be too helpful, but uh, you could do that and you can set the armor for the potato people <laughs> so to speak then we have all the titles i don't know whether you saw that i may have started recording after they appeared but um, these are all the titles that pop up uh, when certain things happen which is cool and enable tab so the tab um, looks pretty cool you can see here and it's created by peer h4 if we scroll down even more you can edit the scoreboard so most of this stuff in the config you might not want to edit as it already looks really nice then we have the sign uh, which looks nice as well and finally we have the start message there we go so um, that is the plugin it's really cool you can edit all of these 
I might change some of the colors, so if you want to do that with Notepad++, you can go to Search, Replace, pick a color such as AND6, and you can replace it with AND C, for example, click Replace All, and as you can see, all 29 um, AND 6s were replaced with Cs, so that is a quick way to change all the colors uh, in the config bar. And you can also change the leave item if you wanted to from redstone to, I don't know, emerald. I think that would look cooler. Emerald. There we go. And you can change the name as well. So I might make that bold like that. So that is the plugin. This plugin tutorial was brought to you by Gaelic Craft, a fantastic tally server with a great community. The IP to that will be in the description. And you can check out this premium plugin on Spigot. I will leave a link, of course. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.